Good evening. Welcome to the Preacher's Corner. I'm your friend and brother, um, Dr. Roy Terry. I'm coming to you from Uli, Fernandina Beach area, Lily Island. Those of you who are familiar with this area, this is where I'm coming from. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And um, I, re I hope you know that the gift is Jesus, not Santa Claus. And tonight, I really want to talk to you about the way. Jesus being the way. He is the way tonight. And my scripture, uh, our scriptures are coming from uh, John 14. And I want to read a few verses of scripture here. John 14, 1, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I don't, so I would like for you to look at a scripture here. And this is coming from gospel, the gospel of John 10 and 10. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. Why? For they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Jesus, uh, he's the way. He is the way. I, before we go further, I would like to pray, Father God, in the matchless name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We humbly come bow before you, Lord. We ask you, God, God, that you will pour into this vessel, pour into this cup, Lord, that I may pour out to your people. Father, there are people who need, there are men and women who need to understand your word, you understand um, the dimensions of your word, the meanings, Father. And God, help us, Lord, as we go forth, Lord, tonight to be more enlightened, even me, Lord, even as I'm going through this discourse. Father, I pray, Lord, that you bless us in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Again, I'm hoping that you are you're not so stuffed with the with the uh the festivities of all the food that you've eaten all during the week during the week because look, that's fine. Um but the word of God is what we need to feast on right now. Um uh here in the scripture, um talking to you really from John 14, that's really the highlight of our scripture about uh, that, that uh, verse as it pertains to the way Jesus said, if I go and prepare a place for you, he says in John 14, I will come again and receive you unto myself and that where I am, you may be also. Um, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but, but by me. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. There's this, that's a whole lot to unpack tonight, but I really want you to understand that in order for us to understand the way, first of all, we have to understand that Jesus come uh, down to humanity, 42 and long generations. He comes to us. He ministers to uh, 12 disciples. One he chose was the devil. That was Judas. And uh, he committed suicide. You know that. But Jesus come preparing a way. John the Baptist was before him. And John was... Um, the one who was the forerunner of Jesus. He said, um, come. He, he, he admonished the people to repent and be baptized unto repentance. 
This was John's gospel. This was John's teaching. And John was very forward, if you will. John was very, um, a very mysterious person. It said that he clothed himself with um, camel's hair and a girdle uh, about him and he, eating a locust and wild honey. When somebody would see John the Baptist coming around preaching, repent, uh, 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 you would like wise perish. Now the days we got teachers and preachers running around and say, if you don't stop doing what you're doing and stop committing adultery, stop lying, you're going to hell and preach the hell and fiery brimstone. I, but I heard, I hear Jesus coming on the scene and he, he preaches, he preaches, he teaches in the synagogue daily. He doesn't call out a particular sin, I don't think. But what Jesus does, he comes to humanity in such a way whereby he would admonish them and somehow um, um, reach them by love. He reached them by feeding a 5,000 uh, or 4,000 at one point, five barley loaves of uh, fish and, and, and two pieces of bread, um, five barley loaves of bread, I'm sorry, five barley loaves of bread and two fishes. Jesus does this and the way he, he's his approach, he approached his people with a sense of uh, a love because he, he understood in order for him to reach the people, he has to love them out of their condition. Um, we, a lot of folk, and I, I, I remember this as a police officer in the city of Jacksonville, uh, people out there, their people's uh, lives are broken. People, are, uh, houses are tore up, their domestic violence, everywhere you turn. And you know what? When the full moon comes, I knew that there was going to be trouble riding around in Jacksonville, patrolling all those different areas. And there's certain areas of Duval County, you don't want to go as a police officer. And people wonder why the police ain't there. Because certain areas, because of the conditions and because of the fractured um, conditions of a community that is, um, the deploring uh, condition, people don't want to be bothered. Police don't want to be bothered. Those conditions, uh, the people that are in those conditions, rather. Um, but Jesus comes here. And he says, the, let not your heart be troubled. That is 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm coming again. And see, these words, these words soothe one's heart. These words give people hope. And, but if you don't admonish, admonish them with love, uh, a sense of hope, people will perish. Because you understand, people already feel like they don't have any hope. People are laden, um, they're heartbroken. But Jesus said unto those who are heartbroken, he said, come. Come unto me, all you that are labored and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Those of you are laden down with sin. You don't have to go to hell. But what Christ did, he comes to make a way. He comes to pave the way. He comes to open the door because here it is. There's John, there's John 10 and 10. Jesus said, he said, Satan cometh but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He comes like a robber and a thief. But he said, I come that you may have life and have it abundantly. I'm here to tell you tonight, People are searching. They are trying to find a way out of hell. Folk ain't trying to go to hell, but people have been bombarded with hell so much. Everywhere they turn, there's a spirit of hell everywhere. In the streets of Jacksonville, I'm pretty sure in Chicago, I don't know where you are, in Dallas, Texas, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, police officers, black police officers beating up on a black man. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what race you are. There is a perpetual hell that's in our, on our, and around us. And what we got to do, my friend, what we got to do, evangelists, what we have to do, apostles, what we have to do, prophets, we have to preach, we have to teach, we have to pe show people that there is a better way than hell. Yes, hell is real. The Bible said that hell has enlarged itself. You, you can look around here. There's a spiritual, there's a type of hell all around us. But Jesus said, look, 
I have a way. I have a way out of this. I am the way of escape. If you will come unto me, all you that are laden and are heavy laden, those who, who are perishing, you know that you're in hell. Why? Because you're living like hell. But he wants to give us peace, y'all. Oh, yes, he does. But we have to learn how to love one another. We have to learn how to love uh, the adulterer, learn how to love the liar, learn how to love the murderer. He said, love ye one another as you have also. You love yourself as you love yourself. Because you know what? I can't love somebody if I don't love myself. It's clear. It's clear. Uh, it we're commanded. There's a commandment. The, there's a commandment uh, of love. And all of the laws of the commandments hang on these two, two commandments. First of all, we love the Lord our God with all our heart, our soul, our mind, and our mind. We love him in our script. We love him. We love him and while we're in our prayer life. We love him while we're reading in the reading the word. We we love him as we submit ourselves unto him daily. Great is that faithfulness. Uh, we, I'm searching him morning, noon, and night. His grace is sufficient. Great is his faithfulness towards me. Y'all, if it wasn't for the grace of God, if it wasn't for his faithfulness, I don't know what I would do. But people need to know we have to engage folk. Folk who God will give us an opportunity. I'm not saying going out there with a sign, holding it up, and beating up folk with the head with the Bible and say, oh, know the Lord, know the Lord. I have a scripture for you. You don't have to always beat folk upside the head. You know what? God has a way of, of, of directing you to the right person at the right time. God is the best orchestrator and for, as, far, as far as time is concerned. Let me, I got a verse here, Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31, uh, there in the, about the 31, 34. No, 31, 33, look at that. I'm, at this verse, if you get a chance, write it down and say, look, God said, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Listen here. In those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. In other words, God is going to step it in your hearts. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. God has a way of finding his people. And watch this. The 34th verse in that same chapter, he said, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. Look at this. Watch this. He said, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. I will give them, I will forgive their iniquity. And I will remember their sin no more. Thus saith the Lord. And which, which giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinance of the moon of the stars for a light by night. You see, it's, it's, it's wonderful. God's word is wonderful. God has a way. His approach is, is just spectacular. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because he has a way of reaching his people. You know, during the days of the, the, the Jews and before that, God said to, to Moses, he said, go tell Pharaoh that I am sent you. I am. He didn't, he didn't, get, he didn't call out his name. He said, My, call, I am. He said, who should I? Moses asked God, who shall I say send me? He said, say that I am sent you. God. God. Elohim. His name, we call him in the name of Jesus. It's God in the name of Jesus in this particular dispensation because, because if it wasn't for Jesus dying on the cross of Calvary, we wouldn't have a chance, y'all. Let me tell you this, the way. Jesus is the way, why? Because he was the son of God, because he was the one through immaculate, immaculate sex, uh, conception comes to us in this world, and he dies on the cross of Calvary. He dies on the cross of Calvary. He dies on the cross of Calvary for your sin and for my sins. Because without the shedding of the blood, 
There could be no remission for our sins. Watch this. Buddha didn't die. Confucius didn't die for you. Krishna didn't die for you. Santa Claus didn't die for you. But Jesus, y'all, he died. He died. Not only that he died, he went into the heart of the earth three days. He went down there and preached to those souls during the, before, uh, during the antediluvian period. He preached to those souls who were in captivity. He took the captivity that were captive. He took the, the, the keys of death and hell. That's the keys from death and hell in the grave. Took the power of the grave and he arose with power. All power, he said, is given unto me in heaven and earth. Why? Because he died. Because of the blood. It's the blood that reaches to the highest, to the lowest, to the lowest of the valley. Uh, oh, because of his blood, God has given us. Oh, yes. He's given us a way out because of the blood. The blood paid that sacrifice, it's a, it's a sacrifice. It was a sin sacrifice because Jesus was a sin sacrifice. He made that a torment for us because of his blood. He paid it. But y'all, he got up out of the grave. He got up and now he sits at the right hand of the father in power. Oh yes, he's the one we can go to. Why? Because he is the way. He is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way. Thomas asked the question. And it doesn't seem like it made any sense that Thomas would ask, it, ask that question after being with Jesus for three years of his ministry while Jesus is raising the dead, healing the sick, opening the blind eyes. The woman who had an issue of blood, he healed her. He healed J Jairus' daughter. Uh, yes, Jesus did so many things. And yet you can't understand him casting out devils, the demon that was in, in, in the uh, graveyard in Gadara, uh, casting another demon out in there in the synagogue. Why? Because the demons always try to find places where they speak hollow places. But because of his love, he you see, he died for us. And I'm so glad about the fact that Jesus, he lives. How I know he lives? because he walks with me, because he talks with me, because he tells me that I am his own. Oh, the joy that we share. Why? Because I have, I have, I have, I have that uh, relationship with Jesus Christ tonight. Those of you who know him, why don't you have a fellowship with somebody else? Let them know that Jesus is the answer today, that Jesus is the way. There's no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way. There's no other way. If you're going to come any other way, it'd be as a thief or a robber. When you can't get in, no other way that you get in can get in but through Jesus. Come through the door. He said, I am the door of the sheepfold. He said, I am the door. Oh, he's foolproof, y'all. And if you come to him, he will give you a uh, peace that's, that's the pastor's all understanding. He will give you a peace that's, y'all, I'm a living witness that he will give, hallelujah, that he will give you a peace which surpasses all understanding that will keep your mind in perfect peace in your heart, your mind stayed on him. Why? Because when the Holy Ghost comes, he comes, he, he comes and he gives you a peace. He will give you a, a genuine confirmation. Oh, yes, he will. He will talk to you. He will let you know. He will direct you. Oh, yes, he will. He will give you revelation, a divine revelation. Oh, yes, he will. If you trust in him, if you will just follow him, if you follow him, you will find that he will direct your path. Oh, yes, the word of God. If I meditate on his word day and night that I may not sin against him. Oh, yes, he's faithful to lead me. He's faithful and just, oh, yes, to deliver me from all sin. And I trust in this God. I trust in Jesus. And I'm thanking God for Jesus who comes to us, who comes to us. He dwelled amongst the people. He dwelled amongst the poor. Uh, and as well as amongst the rich. But you know, because of the rich had so much, even the rich young ruler who had so much, he couldn't see. He couldn't see. 
that Jesus was the way. He couldn't see that Jesus was the truth. Why? Because he had so much. He wasn't willing to lay down the stuff that he had in this world. But I'm here to tell you, let the world go. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I want Jesus because I found out that he will be a friend, that that, that be a friend to a friend, the friendless. Oh, he would be a mother for the motherless. I heard David said at one point, he said, even when my mother or my father forsake me, the Lord take me up. Oh, yes, they will. Oh, he will give you a peace. He will satisfy your soul tonight. Why don't you come to Jesus? The doors of the church is open. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, we pray for these prophets. We pray for these ministers. We pray for the pastors on this faith blog blog oh tonight god that we would minister to the people let them know there's a better way than hell there's a better way of, than destruction to let them know even though they are living in a condition they can come out of that condition oh yes father we thank you god we thank you for the blessing we thank you for christmas because we know that christ is the reason for Christmas. It is all exemplifies him. Although we don't know what day he was born, Lord, we don't know what day you sent your son, but we know that he lives because he lives within us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you for it. Thank you, God, for the blessing. Oh, God, thank you for satisfying our soul tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just touch yourself, touch yourself, lay your hands on yourself. If, you're, if you, you if you are sick tonight, God is able to heal you. Yes, he is because of the blood, because of the blood. The blood would never lose his power. That blood is still significant today, even though he's not on the cross, even though he's not in the grave and he sits on, uh, on that place on high, uh, high and the, in, the, in the, 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 the celestial place, we don't, we don't know where it is because heaven is all around us. Yes, heaven is all around us. Um, but I want to tell you that this tonight, the last night of this year, and this year for this YouTube Faith Blocks. And I want to uh, thank you tonight for listening to, to me. I'm humbled and I thank God for the facilitators who make this possible. And God bless you tonight and God uh, keep you. Amen.